Good evening and thank you very much for the invitation for the invitation to this Google Developer Group. I'm happy to be here and try to speak and we'll go through the topics. And uh, as I was already introduced, uh, I'm working at the Digitalization Centrum Spreeland and it's cooperation with the uh, Brandenburg University of Technology. So we are trying to connect university studies to small and middle-sized enterprises. And this topic, perhaps because usually if we are go to these, uh, especially small enterprises, they mainly don't have any idea what machine learning is and what uh, uh, models like uh, so Keras or Dialogflow, this both I'm going to uh, show you. Uh, and th this would be just uh, mostly the introduction and uh, a little bit fun. So we have this uh, three steps equation, model, quantum, and then we have uh, Keras dialog flow. And in the end, we uh, will be having the game, Kahoot game, and this fax for the best answers to the game. So that because in it. Okay, here. How will we see the world? Starting from equation. Let me just put this. I'll try to put this if you still can hear me. Is it okay? Because I just need both hands. Okay, then I, uh, I'll make, um, so if I show something and then I uh, try to speak again. So we'll go the next. Oh. It's just different. At the computer, something different. I don't know what, what you said here. How it's the same, because they were just different pictures at my side and here. So my background perhaps also in physics, and that's why I just thought if you are also at school starting with the equation, and then you want to move from equation to model, it's actually a big step and not always uh, easy. So at that I just thought we start this one of the first perhaps equation, Galileo Galilei, we are going about more than 400 years back, and Galileo was experimenting with this inclined plane. I also have today this small inclined plane. And uh, on this plane, we can roll the balls. And we also need this, uh, something like this, to measure. Uh, and then we are going to connect these ideas. And it's excellent from this, the first uh, presentation, hyperparameters. And if I'm speaking about equation, you can try to think what correspond to these values in models and what types of hyperparameter could be here. So then perhaps this decline, we are starting to uh, model, uh, we're having this inclined plane, then we're having so balls, just a moment. Arrows from the experiment. Okay. Mainly I can change the angle, so I can go this way or this way. Uh, and if I'm changing this uh, angle, would this be a hyperparameter or a parameter? Then we are going to measure the distance and measure the time. And this equation actually connect them D for distance and T for time. And if we go 400 years or more than 400 years back, we did not have any uh, possibilities to measure really the time. So the next uh, also consideration in this experiment would be
so measurement tools for equation and for the model. And to measure uh, the time, or we can decide with the Galileo Galilei to see a song. to this and uh, the father from Galileo Galilei was the music teacher and they had a lot of music instruments and uh, again if you uh, would look at this history uh, he also developed after that this uh, metronome for the measure from the time uh, but in the beginning it was possible that he, he was just measuring the time just seeing this uh, canon and uh, measuring uh, this time and then if we again make this comparison to the model, then by the model we have to choose this loss function and we have to choose the matrix. And the examples that I uh, am going to show you with Keras, uh, then we will see that we are putting this as a measurement tools, loss and matrix. And next we'll still proceed with this comparison. Uh, for equation, then Galileo used the uh, so the the data on this plane. He governed the, uh, and he derived the law of falling bodies. Uh, and if, if you're working again is in this field with models and you're thinking about uh, hyperparameters, then some kind of hyperparameters could be that important that you, uh, after that, would uh, actually have a very beautiful law of physics. Uh, if we are, again, rolling this ball and thinking about resistance of the air and then the resistance of the air as a hyperparameter, and then it goes to uh, zero, and then from this inclined plane, we just from the ball uh, down, then we would have uh, about, again, more than 50 years later, the gravitational law that we are know from uh, Newton. And this, again, how you choose the hyperparameter could be again, very, very important and useful. And again, understand this equation and then the model. On the model, we again are putting these the uh, nodes. Uh, we here in this case, in the, uh, using this just very simple Keras tool. Actually, how many of you have tried to use Keras? So I see very little. That's why you, you don't need to, more to understand. And the beginning, it's just uh, we saw that we, uh, for working with model, we need some uh, kind of compute, we need some kind of data, and we need some kind of algorithm. So compute data algorithm. And here using again, this idea that we have data, we have so input and output we want to predict. In equation, we just wanted to predict the distance if we know the time. In uh, the case that uh, I'm showing you here with Keras, that was the data of movies reviews. We are putting movies reviews, and there was just uh, positive or negative sentiment. And then we, after that, we are putting just new movie review, and we would have this uh, positive or negative sentiment. Uh, then starting, we just need to, again, import models, layers, optimizer. Uh, in, in this case, and then we are building the model that we describe how many uh, nodes, so this 16 in the beginning, 16 in the middle, and one node, this one node is just say centimeter positive, negative at the end. Then we define optimizer, learning rate, and we already uh, heard that it's the hyperparameter, and the putting all together, model compile, saying optimizer, our matrix, 
loss function and metrics, so me measurement tools, then we are measuring this. And uh, just to see this all together, how it looks like if you would like. And here also under this link, uh, also this comparison among this Galileo approach and this uh, uh, our yet approach to classify the Moody's reviews. Uh, here also the uh, canon so on as a timer, then we see the next the equation, how they correspond to the equation uh, in Keras and there, uh, variables. Galileo could adjust some aspect of the experiment. For example, he could uh, change this angle or dif uh, different materials for the balls and uh, again, different size for the balls. And uh, all of this uh, com comparing and here, uh, so you can also run uh, here. You see, we just, uh, just a moment. My computer was automatically. Here I'm, how I'm doing this. No, no, it's this. I just wanted to show this. It's not showing. There's always different computers. <laughs> uh, so here, in the beginning, again, we are importing Keras. Keras, this is the library that uh, help us really quickly build the model. And here from Keras, again, model, flyers, optimizer. The next step would be load this data set about the movies. And the next, we are define hyperparameters, how many epoch we're going to train, batch size, learning rate. And the model itself, how many input uh, nodes in the middle, uh, how many layers we are having. Uh, and here also, automatically, uh, you can choose this activation uh, function on all these uh, layers. And the next step, then we compile our model. For this, we need the parameter like optimizer, our measurement tools, laws, binary, cross entropy, and metrics accuracy. And the next step would be train the model. So we have to provide in uh, train data, validation data. So this is this data, and here you see just this is running all these 20 epochs that we uh, cho have chosen to uh, go through. And uh, after that, uh, we can just choose what kind of uh, graphics we would like to see. Uh, very also interesting if you just starting, for example, with Keras, you can now use uh, Googlebot and uh, Again, just uh, many of these I just prompted. Just say, I would like to uh, show me an example with Keras training this. Or more interesting, if you have your own ideas, you just say, I have these ideas. Try to connect these ideas with the model in Keras. And then uh, this chatbot would show you uh, also connecting your ideas to this model in Keras and providing also the code. Uh, and before I was uh, testing this with ChatGPT, uh, there you have to uh, connect to Notable, but also they updated this, and now uh, there you also can directly uh, run the code in ChatGPT and in BART. It's just automatically this button that connect to Colab and uh, all this output from BART would be automatically connected to call up and uh, the, this how it's uh, look like if you are again discussing your ideas with Bart and running uh, this connection between call up and Bart. And so this for the movies, they would have after that this uh, output 
and also I just prompted, uh, give me the idea what kind of uh, charts would you uh, suggest to demonstrate the results of uh, this training, and then uh, this result we were able to see. So this is the connection with hyperparameter, then we go uh, back a little bit back to physics. Here we're seeing uh, this battle of the equation that this uh, institute just uh, started on, uh, I think on Twitter. They tried to find uh, the best equation, but it's not again, just. So now it's connected. Uh, they provided 16 equation from the whole physics. They tried to put all of the equation. And uh, if we see energy momentum reaction, then Stefan Boltzmann law, but also Euler's formula, it's part from mathematics. Um, but the idea, again, 16 equation covering the whole about whole physics. Uh, the winner was, uh, in this part, the Neota equation, uh, this uh, connection about symmetries in physics and conservation law. Uh, and now we are just jumping to the models. And uh, on Hagen phase, we had to the December 2022, the number of models over 100,000. 108,000 something. On the 26th of June, we had already 238,000. And today, you can so go over this link. <laughs> How many? Six. Thank you. This, uh, so it, it's just, uh, again, just to think about 16 equations in physics, and they try to put all, and the number of models uh, and how to so manage this uh, so all uh, together. Uh, and this, uh, again, there were last week, I think, new announcement that you are able now to, just don't go to the link, but it's uh, all this uh, additional information under the link to use Keras. Uh, we saw before this example that was the uh, uh, actually uh, tensor flow with the model and Keras are up on this. So back end for Keras uh, tensor flow. And now we're having back end for Keras also in um, JAX and PyTorch. Uh, and uh, here this. So or again, all what you need to change, just import Keras core as Keras, and then all the other uh, code would be, you, you could again run, run the same. So, and uh, I also asked this uh, chatbot about the joke in compare the models and equation, and that was the uh, results. Why don't models like hanging out with equations, because equations always make things more complicated and models prefer everything simplified. Ah. the same. Okay, now we have this joke. And actually, I always thought on the opposite, um, but perhaps the, uh, I ask the, the model itself, and the model just suggested that the equations are more complicated that, than the models uh, itself. So... Not working. Okay. 
sorry, not my computer. <laughs> just different <laughs> here and there, how to move. Okay, again, it's just this link and the uh, this conversation uh, with the model about equation vers versus models describing the world. And here, uh, again, this topic about the equation, about the model, about the similarities, dissimilarities, uh, uh, and so in in interesting insights on, on uh, part of this comparison. And the next step was to uh, connect this, uh, how, could, how could quantum computers change our view on equations and models? Uh, because our quantum computer coming and that uh, the idea of quantum uh, was also connected to uh, our difficulties uh, with hardware, especially these large language models, they are uh, needing more and more uh, background, this uh, hardware, and this is the, perhaps the next step in this uh, quantum computing. And uh, here was, was this interesting again, insight where we can connect this and uh, what the advantages would be from this part. From quantum computing or quantum system, uh, we just need to, to, to connect this, we need these two ideas about this observer. When the observer measures a quantum system, the wave function collapse and the system is forced into a single state. That's the first so idea about collapsing of this wave function, and the second idea about entanglement, quantum, and this again, just if you have these two shoes, you're putting these in the different boxes, and you are traveling with one box far, far away, and you open in this box, then it's automatically, you know, which shoe in this box that is still on the earth. It's no uh, actually specific new information would be transmitted, but simultaneously you are know that uh, if you have this shoe, then the, uh, on the earth is the other shoe. And these both ideas we are connect, connecting and we'll uh, connect this again with these models are uh, in Keras, so when using Keras to build a neural network, we define its architecture, chose the optimizer and the loss function, and then train it on our data. Once the model is trained, we can use it to make prediction on unseen data. And each of these steps can be thought as of collapsing the superposition of possible states uh, that our model could be in. And just uh, here again, this uh, conversation with the chatbot uh, that is linked. Just skip this. And here, additional conversation. If we just move to this um, next model, Dialog Flow CX, that allows you to very quickly to put a chatbot on your uh, website and also what we are uh, usually doing the, with our enterprises. And uh, this uh, HiPi, this uh, also one chat bot that you can uh, free chatting with. And I was uh, asking about connecting, again, these ideas of quantum uh, computing uh, with uh, idea of this uh, chat bot. 
quickly. And this, oh, this suggestion was that uh, if we are building this chatbot, then we are putting there all possible, so all, not all, because as we think possible answers to the uh, questions of the user. And in the moment that the user asks these specific questions, then this state where the system is collapsing and just producing this one specific answer to the user. And then we are going to Google Dialog Flow 6. How many of you have been working or trying to work with Dialog Flow? Okay, see, some of you. And uh, then here is just uh, really uh, simple steps to start. So I just start the project as most of, again, in the cloud, uh, you usually start this project. If you have the project, then you just directly go to this uh, dialog flow console. Okay, I forgot it's not my computer. I can uh, just I'm not, uh, I'm not going further, just this idea that uh, here you would have this. So having this step, you would be able in this uh, dialog flow console, have, having this agent and uh, all, all these uh, first templates is already there. And what are you actually doing? You are uh, thinking about these states, also like this uh, uh, wave function state, and then thinking about this collapse in the state that the user could be asking this specific question, and then uh, you have to provide all this uh, in dialog flow. Uh, six or uh, similar agent possible answers and then uh, randomly would be chosen the answer. But you also have the controller of how this works. So that uh, really briefly our uh, again center where I'm working and uh, if we are in uh, connecting this, this is the next step to uh, be able to have this uh, agent test that just communicate with you, and then we are connecting this communicating agent with uh, avatar, uh, like here, using with plural I.O., uh, so cooperation. And here's just a small example. Uh, if you have this uh, water level uh, tanks and their specific sensors uh, measuring these uh, water in the tanks or oil tanks, and then you can uh, just log in and ask your avatar about the uh, volume. Just, so you just uh, ask and then you would have this actual uh, for today eight o'clock in the morning. The last measurement is from the 13th of July, 2023, eight hours, zero minutes and two seconds. Okay, that was the uh, real, so just again, connecting chatbots to our tasks and this is the next step uh, on uh, development and the uh, company, this Proteus, they uh, before they were also were having these charts, and uh, so user usually can also follow these changes in the uh, so tank, the volume. But after just having avatar, they uh, just saw that they uh, 
usually skip all these charts and just ask uh, the avatar more friendly, uh, friendly and just chatting with avatar and they know, okay, they have some, some volume on water or oil, depending what is there. So, and I think now we can switch. So again, all the slides are uh, open under uh, this QR code. And now I'm starting 